Hi there and welcome to another Light Rider Tips video. Uh, today I'm going to look at the profile uh, for the ADJ Mini Decker uh, and you'll soon realise that actually it's not quite as good as it could be so I'm going to go and create a new one using the Profile Builder tool. So if I go and first off look at fixtures in Light Rider and take a look at the Mini Decker you'll see it's got uh, eight or nine channels and in fact um, and uh, most of them are fairly straightforward. You can see it's red, green, blue, white. It's got a shutter uh, for strobing, uh, a master dimmer, something called motor functions, uh, and then a color selection and then uh, a channel called modes. Uh, now, as far as Light Rider is concerned, there isn't anything in there that Light Rider will specifically use to control the actual movement. Uh, the Mini Decker itself has a mirror inside, uh, and uh, it's actually channel 7 that controls the rotation of that mirror. Now, uh, but because it's called motor functions in here, Light Rider can't use it. So the only way that you can get a Mini Decker to work um, with this profile is to manually go look at uh, the fixtures view uh, and set it to a particular value. Now in, uh, in this particular ch uh, channel, uh, values 0 to 127 uh, are, uh, is a very specific mirror position. And anything from a 128 up to 255 uh, causes the mirror to kind of rotate on its own. Uh, so you can either set it to a very specific static position, or if you move it somewhere above 128, it will start to kind of rotate. Um, uh, uh, and from 128 to 255, as I said, um, will get faster and faster. Um, the trouble is with the speed um, is that it won't actually be uh, relative to any of your other fixtures. Uh, so you might just, uh, if you want to use this mode, you'll have to kind of set the speed yourself. Which might work for you, uh, but it's not great. So what I'm going to do is uh, show you how to create a profile uh, which uses uh, the pan uh, rotation effect um, in a similar way to that we used for the starburst um, in my previous video. Um, but then I'll show you a little tip as to how to get the very best out of it. So for now, I'm just going to close Light Rider and see Profile Builder. Uh, so I'm going to create a new profile. Um, I'm going to call it Mini Decker, uh, tap fixture brand, start typing American DJ, select American DJ from the list, and then tap create. Um, and as you would have seen, and if you've tried this before, you'll notice that uh, when you tap create, there's a long pause. It's probably 10, 12, 15 seconds where uh, your um, iPad or Android tablet kind of doesn't appear uh, to do anything. Um, it's not kind of frozen. It's not kind of hung somewhere. It's just doing something. Um, and I actually don't know what it is doing. But I do know that if you wait for long enough, then it will come back to life and create a profile for you. Here we go. Okay, so uh, I'm going to start adding the channels. Um, so again, at this point, you will need the user guide for your fixture. In this case, it's the Mini Decker, uh, because you'll need to know what each of the DMX channels do. So the first one is red. Uh, that's nice and simple. You tap um, Add, and then uh, select red. Uh, so I'm going to add another channel. The next one is green. That's really simple. Tap Add Channel. Um, and then select green. Tap add channel again for the third time for channel number three, which is blue. Then tap add channel again for the fourth one, which is white. Now again, you'll notice there isn't a white on here. Um, so you can simply select extra color next to blue and then uh, tap the words extra color backspace to remove that and then type white. Um, again, this is uh, these these names aren't particularly important for Light Rider um, or for, uh, for My DMX Go. Um, this works the same, um, but it is important uh, for you because these are the channel names that will get displayed in the app. So that's channel four. Channel five is strobing. Uh, this is a relatively straightforward strobing channel. So I'm going to select shutter and strobe. Uh, and it only has two ranges. It has zero to nine for off. So I'm going to select strobe off. And it also has uh, 10 to 255 for strobing uh, slow to fast. So I'm going to select strobe there. Tap save on the bottom right. And uh, it will, I'll just need to adjust this. So uh, strobe off should be the values of zero to 
9, so I need to drag this all the way down to 9. There we go, uh, which will leave strobing uh, 10 to 255 uh, being correct. Okay, so that was nice and easy for channel number five. Channel number six is master dimmer. That's really straightforward as well. So you just tap dimmer on the top row and then select uh, dimmer, which is the second one from the left on the top, and then tap save. Channel number seven, now this is the motor control uh, function. This has, now in the manual, this has two ranges, as I mentioned earlier. It has zero to 127, which uh, allows you to set a very specific motor position, and then values 128 to 255 is rotation slow to fast. Now, uh, I'm going to use the same pan channel that I use in the uh, with the starburst uh, in my previous video. Uh, now um, I will uh, that this won't work um, immediately as well as you'd hoped, um, but there is a little trick that I can show you uh, that will make sure that this works perfectly. So I'm going to select pan as a channel type for this. Um, uh, there are no further values on this, so. Uh, uh, nothing else to do, we'll just leave that uh, channel number seven as pan. Channel number eight is color selection. Now again, uh, we want to make sure that this, this profile um, uses the RGBW channels uh, of channels number one to four. Uh, we do not want Light Rider to, to try and use any other channels for selecting color. Um, even though channel eight allows you to select kind of color mixing and color fading, um, if we try and define that in this profile, uh, Light Rider may well try and use it instead of the RGBs um, uh, and it will just get confused and you'll end up with colors that don't match. Um, so my advice for this is if you've got an RGB channels in your fixtures, uh, then use them uh, and then make sure that you if you have if your fixtures also have color modes or color macros or color wheels as well uh, then don't use them uh, simply select other which as you'll see is on the third row down near the right hand side um, if you select other then light rider will not be able to uh, uh, will not know what to do with it and it will ignore it uh, which in this case is a good thing okay so i'm going to tap save um, i will change the name uh, for this as i said this isn't this isn't uh, required for Light Rider, but it is uh, useful for us. Uh, so this was channel uh, eight, and this is called a color selection. So I'm gonna call this one color selection. It will remind me uh, what it does, but as I said, I do not want Light Rider to use it. Uh, channel number nine is the last one, um, and it has two ranges. It has uh, zero to nine for DMX control and 10 to 255 uh, for show mode. Now, again, uh, uh, it may be tempting uh, to use something like uh, show mode. You might think that show mode in this particular case um, ow, um, um, behaves rather like what well, it is sound active. Um, now, the, uh, the disadvantage of using kind of built-in sound active modes on fixtures um, is that they will literally go off and do their own thing. Um, they, each fixture will have a microphone. It will listen uh, to, what, uh, to what it can hear uh, is, that is going on as far as music is concerned, and it will do its own thing. So if you've got two mini deckers, they, they will uh, do their own thing. Uh, as far as DMX is concerned, uh, what all you've told them to do is say, just go into sound active mode and go and do your own thing. Um, uh, so you may as well not bother, uh, quite honestly, uh, because it, you know, if you're going to use DMX, then you should use the, uh, the software or the application uh, to control your lights, um, because uh, things like Light Rider or My DMX Go uh, will keep all of your lights nicely in sync. Um, show mode, in this case, will go off and do any color, bouncing around all over the place, and you will have effectively lost all control of it um, until you take it back. So. Uh, uh, back to this, I'm going to select this as an other channel type, select save, and uh, I'm just going to go and check uh, that channels uh, 8 and 9 have a default value of 0, um, because I don't want those to be used. Uh, on the right hand side of the screen, where it says preset properties, just above the 255, I'm going to tap that and ensure that the default value is set up to 0, um, and it is. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, I forgot to change my other channel name. So I'll just go and tap other. Uh, so this is called uh, mode, I think. I'm just going to call it mode because that will remind me of how it works. Uh, make sure that that it also has a default value 
of zero. Okay, so that's it. I've defined all nine channels. The most important ones are uh, one to four for uh, red, green, blue, and white. Uh, shutter and strobe we've defined. Dimmer is there. Seven is defined as a pan channel. So I'm going to tap back and save those changes. Uh, wait for this to change, um, and all right, there we go. So uh, as you can see on the on the top left, I've now got uh, Mini Deca. Okay, right. I'm going to hop back into Light Rider now. Uh, find Light Rider in my list. It's got moved. Here we go. Light Rider, uh, and I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to first set up this particular this profile in one of my. Okay. Great, Light Rider's decided not to. Let's try that once more. Uh, so um, I mentioned earlier that we, uh, by, you know, by default, this uh, this profile won't work quite um, as perfectly as we'd hoped, but there is a nice little trick that we can use um, to get it to function perfectly. So uh, I'm gonna switch into, uh, 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 select my Light Rider uh, project. I'm going to tap Fixes to go into Fixes mode. Um, I'm going to remove the, the, the Mini Decker. That's the standard profile. I'm going to just get rid of this one now. Um, on the bottom left, next to the globe icon, I'm going to tap the person. Uh, tap Brand, American DJ. You'll see I've got my Mini Decker profile there. If I tap Mode, you'll see it's a nine channel, which is all good. That's exactly what we've just created. And then I'm going to tap Add a Fixture. And you'll see uh, that already it's kind of sprung into life. The red and green channels uh, are off, um, and so if I'd had a mini decker connected, um, it would be uh, it would be uh, you know showing some color output. Um, the good news um, is also that if I had any par cans uh, or similar or uh, within this project, uh, the mini decker would be doing its uh, would be ma color matching those. Um, so you get a nice consistent um, effect across all of your fixtures. Um, you'll notice that pan is set at 127 and if I go back to the manual you'll see that that's a uh, that's the the motor position that's a fixed motor position now if I'm, I'm going to just hop into live mode and select the circle effect um, and go back to fixtures and see what that's doing now uh, you can see now that the pan is whizzing up to about, uh, what was that going up to? That's going up to something like 190, and then uh, bobbing back right down to about, what is it going down to? Probably 60, mid-60s, um, which is not great for us because in the in the manual you'll see that that's, um, uh, the values up to 127 are, are, are a fixed motor position. Um, but as soon as it goes over 127, that goes into a kind of mirror rotation. So uh, so what, what happens is uh, Light Rider starts off in the values up to 127 setting the mirror rotation itself but as soon as it goes over 127 the mirror starts rotating um, on its own. Uh, so this is where um, we can actually use limitations. So if I uh, tap the limitations view, uh, well, I, I want to make sure that uh, the uh, pan values only ever go up to 127. Uh, and so all I need to do is drag the limitations view in to approximately half. Now, for this, you really want to have a mini decker connected so that you can see what it's actually doing. Okay, but if I set the limitations here uh, to be exactly half of the area and then uh, go back into the, the sliders view, you'll now see that my pan um, isn't whizzing all the way from 60 to 180, but is in fact only bouncing from around 30 up to 90. If I go to live mode and uh, set uh, the size to be maximum, so that it should go the, the full extent of the limitations back into fixtures view. You'll see that uh, pan now goes down to zero and it goes all the way up to, if it goes fractionally over 127, that just means I need to pull this in a little, a little bit more to stop it from going over into uh, over 127. So now it should be going from zero up to, that looked like it's going up to about 127. Um, uh, with some with an, act, an actual fixture connected, you can make sure that the, you set that right hand uh, limitation. So now uh, we have uh, Light Rider perfectly controlling 
the red, green, blue and white channels. Uh, and it's also using a pan feature um, in exactly the same way that it would use uh, pan for a moving head. Uh, and meaning that the mirror inside my Mini Decker is now rotating um, exactly as it would if it were a, a moving head panning. Um, so you should find, in fact, that our, our Mini Decker uh, creates a movement effect out on the dance floor exactly the same um, as the a, the movement of a of a uh, moving head so uh that's it there's i say there's two little tricks in there uh, one is to use the pan facility and then one to set limitations to stop uh light rider from kind of straying into areas of the of pan that you don't want it to use I hope you found that uh, useful um uh, i'm probably going to do a few more of these types of videos to show how to create you know your own custom profiles using profile builder um, uh, we've covered two already and i'll be uh, doing a few more uh, to follow but uh, as always if you have any questions then pop them in the comments below or you can head over to the light rider and my dmx go um, help and support group um, on facebook there are some people there that can help uh, including myself uh, with questions uh, and uh, and any other things that you may need to know but otherwise that's it for now thank you very much